Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's talk is given by Mike Hengwe Lucas. Greetings, brothers and sisters and Sangha. You know, I um, this is my first talk tonight, and you know, I've always been kind of a socially engaged and like you know active in the community kind of person myself mainly within um books to prisoners union work and a bunch of other programs but like one of the things that calls to mind is you know in buddhism like a lot of people misconceive that it's not just literally about you know buddha siddhartha himself it's like about being awake it's about being empathetic and present and just trying to be the fullest of like awake in the more profound and wise sense of all that and being you know like that there was so many conflicts going on in the world today whether it's sri lanka whether it's the mass incarceration across this nation and legalized slavery or just the outright brutality of the military here or abroad. It's just, it's come to me that like, you know, one of the things that's kind of come in my more immediate present moment is in Ohio where um, getting with the, uh, you know, whole reduction and like, overturning of roe v wade we are even more subject and vulnerable in our communities towards being penalized by these laws and you know as you know buddhists and as empathetic people it is like you know like i wanted to find a way to reach out because the gravity of this like came even more amongst like you know my own community amongst my own um interpersonal relationships like you know like having a miscarriage is just like you're bound to be like you know possibly trialed as a murderer like right off the bat it's very serious so outreaching this i went to a coalition called faith choice ohio and you know um it's there's people in communities of faith that are pro-choice and wanting to reach out to all people who are, you know, vulnerable in crises such as these. And as Buddhists, it's just like, I've seen globally that like, you know, I'm not the best on scriptural knowledge per se, but like amongst a lot of Buddhists, especially in Zen Buddhist communities, in japan like they have you know it's not seen as a sin abortion and stuff like that it's seen as abortion and those processes of uh birth care and health control are accepted and they have a process that is kind of like a bereavement process for that but it's not all focused on guilt it's all focused on empathy and consolidation towards that person that's been afflicted and you know even my uh, catholic you know pro-life upbringing i've been able to resonate with my family that like you know ill regardless of your feelings towards or abortion like when this comes into criminalizing people and any kind of underground unsafe kind of you know medical mishaps that could happen that will happen like what are we going to do to stop this what are we going to do to reach out what are we going to do to be awake to these crises that stand before us in the present moment and part of my training as part of this group was just that just figuring out how to be empathetic and outreach to these people in like their time of crisis but at the same time Buddhism to me, especially like taking on a more serious drive of uh, trying to take on a minister role or any kind of Zen priest or monk role, it's just you've got to take a certain weight of seriousness. And in addition to the seriousness of all that interpersonal weight, lies like, you know, the whole fact that, like, you know, they could look down upon you as an accomplice as well and 
you've got to be willing and wise to be able to be empathetic and present.